Welcome back for another VeChain Prize prediction analysis. And at the time of this recording, VeChain continues to hold below the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart, which is now acting as a resistance for us to continue gearing up. We have also continued to hold below resistance at around the 0 0.01798 mark. And a break above that key area of resistance with a successful retest, then I'm expecting VeChain to continue gearing up and get above the $0.02 mark. VeChain has also continued to obey the ADOTF structures, where you can see that after seeing our bear market low at around the $0.013 mark, we saw that massive bounce to the upper side where we picked in a 5 wave structure having the wave 5 giving us a high above the $0.02134 mark in a move that completed the formation of this larger ADOT wave count 1. And after seeing the formation of that first wave, we started a corrective structure in the formation of this wave 2 in a move that has now managed to get into the minimum retracement area for the second wave highlighted on the charts using this blue target area which is an area that I came up with by connecting the Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1, giving me a minimum retracement area between the Fib level 0 0.382 and the Fib level 0 0.78, which is an area that we have fully maximized, and there are high chances that we have a low in place for the second wave, and we are also seeing a reaction of the target area in what could be the start of an impulse, to the upper side in the formation of this wave 3 and because of the impulsiveness in the formation of this wave 3 I'm expecting to see another micro idiot wave count within the formation of that wave 3 where there are high chances that whatever we have on the charts is now that first wave to the upside and we are now in a corrective structure in the formation of this wave 2 before we can expect another bounce in a wave 3 then expect a wave 4 then continue gearing up impulsively in the formation of that wave 5 and if that is the case then using the Fibonacci I can give you areas that VeChain needs to continue holding above for us to say that we are seeing a retracement in this wave 2 and soon we can expect another bounce in the formation of that wave 3 and by connecting the Fibonacci from the lows that we made on the 11th of September to that high I get a minimum retracement area for the second wave between the Fib level 0 0.5 and the Fib level 0 0.618 and that is between the $0.01654 mark and the $0.01609 mark and there are high chances that as long as you continue holding within this target area which is right here or maybe above it we can see another bounce to the upper side in the formation of that wave 3 and at the time of this recording, you can also see that we are seeing a reaction of the FIB level 0 0.382 and that could give us that bounce and get impulsive in the formation of that wave 3. So that is what I'm keeping my eyes on on the short term. And in case we don't see that bounce to the upper side and maybe we continue seeing further weakness on the charts, then we need to continue holding above the FIB level 0 0.78 and that is above the 0.01544 dollar mark. And as long as VeChain continues to hold above that, there are high chances of getting that bounce. And a break of the FIB level 0 0.78, then there are high chances that we can see a reset of the lows that we made on the 11th of September. And jumping to the daily chart to also give you my long-term adiotive analysis on the VeChain chart, you can see that uh, in 2020 we saw these lows down here, then we saw the bull market giving us the all-time high at around the $0.28 mark in a move that completed the formation of this larger ADOT wave count 1. And after seeing the formation of that first wave, we started a corrective structure in the formation of this wave 2 where we have been seeing a corrective move to the lower side. And there are high chances that we now have a low in place for the second wave and in the next coming weeks or maybe months we can see a reaction of these lows down here and start gearing up and get impulsive in the formation of this wave 3 and this is what i'm expecting in the next bull market 
I'm expecting that with three, then expect a wave four, and then continue gearing up in the formation of that wave five, giving us new all-time highs here on the VeChain chart. So that is my price prediction analysis here on the VeChain chart, and I hope that video was of much help to you. And if it was, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and also check out the channel membership.